Yo, what up, y'all? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas. It's Friday, so it's Final Cut Fridays. And in this tutorial, I have a really rad handwriting text effect where we're going to be using your actual handwriting in your videos. Let's get it. All right, so for this tutorial, you're going to need, of course, Final Cut Pro and a dry erase board and a dry erase marker. Now, if you don't have those two, you can also use white paper and a black marker as well. All right, so once you get your picture that you took from your dry erase board sent to you, I used AirDrop on my iPhone to my Mac because that's the easiest, but you can also email it to you and you can save it and download it to your computer. Once you get it, you're gonna put it in your timeline and there we have it. Now, when you do take this picture, you're gonna wanna make sure the lighting, the lighting is um, pretty even just to make our life easier and emphasize on the white space okay now once we have that i got my scene right here this is from my upcoming vlog i'm actually going to use this effect in the vlog which is going to be pretty baller first things first we're going to come over to the effects tab and we're going to look for negative we're going to grab the negative and put it on top of our drawing now the next part is we're gonna add a color correction. Now we can either go up top and add it that way, or my favorite way is actually clicking the scene we're working on, hit Command-6, and it opens it up. We're gonna come down to Exposure, and we're gonna drop the shadows all the way down, and we're gonna drop the midtones all the way down. Now what we want is we want all this area right here to be completely black as you can see there's still a little bit of light here it's not completely black so in that case what we're going to do we're going to add another color correction on top of that go to color correction 2 do the same thing come to exposure drop some shadows down Ooh. let me see that's about right drop the mid-tones See, I want to drop it down, and this is something you got to eyeball. Like you see, everything's white. Our text is white now, but I don't want to drop it too low. I want to make sure it's like pure white. That actually looks good. So play around with it, eyeball it. We can work with this. After we do this, we're going to come down to mask, draw mask. Go ahead and drop that on top of our precious writing that we did. Click the draw mask and click the point and just go all the way around. Now FYI, I said scale it up because that's what me and my friends say. Scale it up when you want to do it big. That's what we do because we're boss. Just scale it up. Doesn't got to be perfect when you do the mask. Boom. Okay, so now that we have that, the fun part, this is where the magic is going to happen. I feel like David Blaine, have it highlighted, we're going to come down to compositing, and we're going to go to screen. No way. There we go, we're going to come over here to transform, and we're going to be able to move this bad boy right here. Oh hell yeah. Now check this out. Check out that beard. Beard goes right here. And that's our you wanna know what my secret. So if you get tired of using boring fonts or you know you wanna be real unique in your videos, do this cool and smooth text <laughs> effect. I just learned this. Um and you best believe I'm gonna be implementing this in my future vlogs. I think it's fire. Really easy to do. It's best if you do it with a dry erase board, dry erase marker, take a pic, send it, boom, add it on top, do those steps, you're all set to go. Now, if this tutorial helped you out, please smash that like button for me right now. Give me a good old thumbs up. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this every Friday for Final Cut Fridays, as well as some other cool tutorials and vlogs and unboxings, please hit that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.